now let me uh, right click on this so before uh, before i show you anything let me just open up my uh, server explorer let me just show you my that is store procedures yes so let me just uh, let me open my load customer usp underscore load customer and this is the query i have written that is simple select customer id customer name customer amount from customer let me go back to my model one dot edmx let me right click and let me add let me go and let's say function import uh, let me give a nice name that uh, load customer as my function name or you can say method name load customers and store procedure is nothing but my usp load customer yes and uh, and my entity is customer a customer is nothing but a customer table from which it is loading so let me just say okay so function import is been added to to our entity that is model one dot edmx model browser so let me just save let me just compile and recheck if everything is fine or not yes so build is succeeded now let me go back to my form and uh, let me close this okay so yes friends as you can see we have customly written our code that is a uh, custom uh, that is in the button to display the data in the button click button one dot click we have written customer object cust object context dot customers we can do that by using our let me just comment this with our customer uh, that uh, function name also let me just comment this and uh, what i will do i will add a new for each obj context dot load customers okay it has been done right now i am just loading my customers only So let's say OPJ and let me just run this and check whether it is running or not. Let me click on my display data. Yes, the query is running fine, well and fine. Let me just close this. Okay. So now, now let's try to fire our uh, insert update other queries also. Let me for that let me just open up my model one dot edmx so can you see friends i have a uh, three other store procedures like usp delete customer usp load customer or i'm sorry usp insert and update customer so let's try to map that to our model one dot edmx for that let me select the customer entity and can you see here i have a mapping details on the left hand side it will show you map entity to uh, entity to the tables or views and second the map entity to the function the two icons which stating that uh, map entity to the function and map entity to the tables or views i am going to select entity to the functions and uh, I here i have in the function list i have three functions that is insert update delete so in the insert and uh, insert i am going to say insert and yes a customer name a customer amount let me just show you this uh, left hand side uh, left hand side customer name and customer amount how it is came for that let me just open up my server explorer and uh, yes let me go to my customer insert this is my input parameter that is customer name varchar and customer amount can you see this is the same name which model1.edmx mapping detail has been fetched 
from inside uh, the store procedure let me select go to my mapping details yes as you can see the parameters input parameters customer name and customer amount it has been mapped to our customer name and customer amount to the actual table properties likewise same we will do for our uh, update yes we will map same thing we don't have the customer id here so let me add a customer id and we will do same for delete also for delete i think we need only one parameter that is customer id because we will be deleting from our customer id yes so function has been created now let me save and let me just build this okay build is succeeded now what i will do just to ensure that yes it has been inserting from our uh, from our store procedure i have added this store let me go to my uh, database let's see whether i do have any entry or not let me close this other for that let me open up my server explorer let me open up my customer table i'm sorry i just opened my product then right click and show data yes so we don't have any uh, any uh, data associated with the store because uh, i have added a concatenated my in the insert command as a store so let me just show you that see this this is where i did the concatenation for customer name if any customer name is there uh, suppose uh, if guru is there guru is will get concatenated with the store also and it will further it is go and insert into the database so now let me just fire the same query from the model for that i will say up f5 and uh, i will say insert so it will fire the insert query let me just step over so query has been executed successfully let me just stop oops sorry now let me now let me just go and check my database okay for that yes i need to do the refresh yes can you see uh, the 10th record has been added that is karthik with the store okay with the 20000 value so yes for that we can ensure that the query has been fired from the st uh, that uh, store procedures yes so this is how you can access your store procedures uh, store procedure from your uh, model that entity framework that is nothing but a model 1.edmx okay and likewise same you can fire the insert update delete queries also other queries by because you already map your insert update uh, command that is this and just show you you already fired your let me just say auto add okay see so already fired everything so been done see the mapping has been done here so because you have mapped everything here in our uh, in the mapping list mapping function so now the store now the every query will be fired from the store procedure only okay so this is how you do your insert update delete uh, through the store procedures so now let's uh, summarize the things whatever we have covered let's check whether we have covered everything or not so so yes so 
in this session that is on entity framework we have covered how to create a simple uh, we have seen the simple example of the entity framework by creating that data grid and we have mapped that data grid to our entity framework model and we have also seen a custom code custom code that how to load that is nothing but a select then we have seen the insert by using a linky query update with, with the with the using of linky query and delete with the using of linky query and we at lastly we have also seen how to access the store procedures in, uh, in the entity uh, by using by mapping our store procedures to the function name that is nothing but entity function name okay so hope you understand this session okay if you have any queries any doubt or if you want to uh, give me your valuable feedbacks you can ping me on that is gurumatrix2004 at the gmail.com or do visit my blog that is uh, uh, www.shrp.gurumatrix.wordpress.com thank you thank you very much friends thank you thanks a lot yeah